Kalidasa was a classical Sanskrit writer, widely regarded as the greatest poet and dramatist in the Sanskrit language of India. His plays and poetry are primarily based on the Vedas, the Mahabharata and the Puranas. Much about his life is unknown, only what can be inferred from his poetry and plays. His works cannot be dated with precision, but they were most likely authored within the 4th-5th century CE. Topic: <laughs> Early life Scholars have speculated that Kalidasa may have lived near the Himalayas, in the vicinity of Ujjain, and in Kalinga. This hypothesis is based on Kalidasa's detailed description of the Himalayas in his Kumarasambhava, the display of his love for Ujjain in Megaduta, and his highly eulogistic descriptions of Kalingan emperor Hemangada in Raghuvamsa sixth sarga. Lakshmi Dar Kala (1891–1953), a Sanskrit scholar and a Kashmiri pandit, wrote a book titled *The Birthplace of Kalidasa* (1926), which tries to trace the birthplace of Kalidasa based on his writings. He concluded that Kalidasa was born in Kashmir, but moved southwards and sought the patronage of local rulers to prosper. The evidence cited by him from Kalidasa's writings includes. Description of flora and fauna that is found in Kashmir, but not Ujjain or Kalinga, the saffron plant, the deodar trees, musk deer etc. Description of geographical features common to Kashmir, such as tarns and glades. Mention of some sites of minor importance that, according to Kala, can be identified with places in Kashmir. These sites are not very famous outside Kashmir, and therefore, could not have been known to someone not in close touch with Kashmir. Reference to certain legends of Kashmiri origin, such as that of the Nakumba mentioned in the Kashmiri text Nilamata Purana, mention in Shakuntala of the legend about Kashmir being created from a lake. This legend, mentioned in Nilamata Purana, states that a tribal leader named Ananda drained a lake to kill a demon. Ananda named the site of the former lake now land as Kashmir, after his father Kashyapa. According to Kala, Shakuntala is an allegorical dramatization of Pratyabhijna philosophy a branch of Kashmir Shaivism. Kala further argues that this branch was not known outside of Kashmir at that time. According to folklore, once a scholarly princess decided to find a suitable groom by testing men in her kingdom for their intelligence. When no man could pass the test, the frustrated citizens decided to send Kalidasa, an unintelligent man, for an interview with the princess. Kalidasa fared poorly, and was greatly humiliated by the princess. Challenged by the princess, he visited a Kali temple, and was inspired to learn Sanskrit. He studied the Puranas and other ancient texts, and become a great poet. He then wrote three epics starting with the words of his insult, Asti Kaskat Vagvaisaza. Another legend is that he visited Kumaradasa, the king of Sri Lanka formerly known as Ceylon and, because of some treachery, Kalidasa was murdered there. Topic. Period Several ancient and medieval books state that Kalidasa was a court poet of a king named Vikramaditya. A legendary king named Vikramaditya is said to have ruled from Ujjain around 1st century BCE. A section of scholars believe that this legendary Vikramaditya is not a historical figure at all. There are other kings who ruled from Ujjain and adopted the title Vikramaditya, the most notable ones being Chandragupta II r. 380 CE to 415 CE and Yasodharman 6th century CE. The most popular theory is that Kalidasa flourished during the reign of Chandragupta II, and therefore lived around 4th-5th century CE. Several Western scholars have supported this theory, since the days of William Jones and A.B. Keith. Many Indian scholars, such as Vasudev Vishnu Marashi and Ram Gupta, also place Kalidasa in this period. According to this theory, his career might have extended to the reign of Kumaragupta I R. 414-455 CE, and possibly, to that of Skandagupta R. 455-467 CE. The earliest paleographical evidence of Kalidasa is found in a Sanskrit inscription dated c. 473 CE, found at Mansur's Sun Temple, with some verses that appear to imitate Megaduta Purva, 66, and the Ritasamhara V, 2-3, although Kalidasa is not named. His name, along with that of the poet Bharavi, is also mentioned in a stone inscription dated 634 CE found at Ihole, located in present-day Karnataka. Topic. 
Theory of multiple Kalidasas Some scholars, including M. Srinivasakarayar and T. S. Narayana Sastri, believe that all the works attributed to Kalidasa are not by a single person. According to Srinivasakarayar, writers from 8th and 9th centuries hint at the existence of three noted literary figures that share the name Kalidasa. These writers include Devendra, author of Kavi Kalpalata, Rajashakara, and Inhananda. Sastri lists the works of these three Kalidasas as follows. Kalidasa alias Matrigupta, author of Setu Banda and three plays Abhijnanasakundalam, Malavikanimitram and Vikramorvasiam. Kalidasa alias Medharudra, author of Kumarasambhava, Megaduta and Raghuvamsa. Kalidasa alias Kotajit, author of Artasamhara, Shaimala Dandakam and Sarngaratalaka among other works. Sastri goes on to mention six other literary figures known by the name Kalidasa. Paramala Kalidasa alias Padmagupta, author of Navasahasanka Karita, Kalidasa alias Yamakakavi, author of Naladaya, Nava Kalidasa, author of Shampu Bhagavata, Akbariya Kalidasa, author of several Samasyas or riddles, Kalidasa 8, author of Lambadera Prahasana, and Abhinava Kalidasa alias Madhava, author of Sankshepa Sankara Vijayam, according to K. Krishnamurthy, Vikramaditya, and Kalidasa were used as common nouns to describe any patron king and any court poet respectively. Works Plays Kalidasa wrote three plays. Among them, Abhijnanasakuntalam of Shakuntala recognized by a token", is generally regarded as a masterpiece. It was among the first Sanskrit works to be translated into English, and has since been translated into many languages. Malavikanimitram, pertaining to Malavika and Agnimitra, tells the story of King Agnimitra, who falls in love with the picture of an exiled servant girl named Malavika. When the queen discovers her husband's passion for this girl, she becomes infuriated and has Malavika imprisoned, but as fate would have it, Malavika is in fact a true-born princess, thus legitimizing the affair. Abhijnanasakuntalam, of the recollection of Shakuntala, tells the story of King Dushanta who, while on a hunting trip, meets Shakuntala, the adopted daughter of a sage, and marries her. A mishap befalls them when he is summoned back to court. Shakuntala, pregnant with their child, inadvertently offends a visiting sage and incurs a curse, by which Dushanta will forget her completely until he sees the ring he has left with her. On her trip to Dushanta's court in an advanced state of pregnancy, she loses the ring, and has to come away unrecognized. The ring is found by a fisherman who recognizes the royal seal and returns it to Dushanta, who regains his memory of Shakuntala and sets out to find her. Goethe was fascinated by Kalidasa's Abhijnanasakundalam, which became known in Europe, after being translated from English to German. Vikramorvasiam, pertaining to Vikrama and Urvashi, tells the story of mortal king Pururavas and celestial nymph Urvashi who fall in love. As an immortal, she has to return to the heavens, where an unfortunate accident causes her to be sent back to the earth as a mortal with the curse that she will die and thus return to heaven the moment her lover lays his eyes on the child which she will bear him. After a series of mishaps, including Urvashi's temporary transformation into a vine, the curse is lifted, and the lovers are allowed to remain together on the earth. Poems. <inaudible> <inaudible> Topic. Epics Kalidasa is the author of two epic poems, Raghuvamsa Dynasty of Ragu", and Kumarasambhava birth of Kumara or Subramanya. Raghuvamsa is an epic poem about the kings of the Ragu dynasty. Kumarasambhava describes the birth and adolescence of the goddess Parvati, and her marriage to Lord Shiva. Minor poems Kalidasa also wrote two Khandakavyas minor poems. His descriptive poem, Artasamhara describes the six seasons by narrating the experiences of two lovers in each of the seasons. His elegiac poem, Kalidasa created his own genre of poetry with his poem Megaduta, in English translated to, The Cloud Messenger, 
which is the story of a yaksha trying to send a message to his lover through a cloud. Kalidasa set this poem to the Mandakranda meter, which is known for its lyrical sweetness. It is one of Kalidasa's most popular poems and numerous commentaries on the work have been written. Topic. Translations Montgomery Schuyler Jr. published a bibliography of the editions and translations of the drama Shakuntala while preparing his work, Bibliography of the Sanskrit Drama. Schuyler later completed his bibliography series of the dramatic works of Kalidasa by compiling bibliographies of the editions and translations of Vikramorvachi and Malavikagnamitra. Sir William Jones published English translation of Sakuntala in 1791 CE and Artisamhara was published by him in original text during 1792 CE. Topic: <laughs> Later culture. Many scholars have written commentaries on the works of Kalidasa. Among the most studied commentaries are those by Kalachala Malanatha Suri, which were written in the 15th century during the reign of the Vijayanagar king, Deva Raya II. The earliest surviving commentaries appear to be those of the 10th century Kashmirian scholar Vallabhadeva. Eminent Sanskrit poets like Banabhata, Jayadeva, and Rajasakara have lavished praise on Kalidasa in their tributes. A well known Sanskrit verse, Upama Kalidasasya. Praises his skill at upama, or similes. Anandavardhana, a highly revered critic, considered Kalidasa to be one of the greatest Sanskrit poets ever. Of the hundreds of pre modern Sanskrit commentaries on Kalidasa's works, only a fraction have been contemporarily published. Such commentaries show signs of Kalidasa's poetry being changed from its original state through centuries of manual copying, and possibly through competing oral traditions which ran alongside the written tradition. Kalidasa's Abhijñānāsakuntalam was one of the first works of Indian literature to become known in Europe. It was first translated to English and then from English to German, where it was received with wonder and fascination by a group of eminent poets, which included Herder and Goethe. Here the poet seems to be in the height of his talent in representation of the natural order, of the finest mode of life, of the purest moral endeavor, of the most worthy sovereign, and of the most sober divine meditation, still he remains in such a manner the lord and master of his creation. Kalidasa's work continued to evoke inspiration among the artistic circles of Europe during the late 19th century and early 20th century, as evidenced by Camille Claudel's sculpture Shakuntala. Kudiyatam artist and Natya Shastra scholar Mani Madhava Chakyar choreographed and performed popular Kalidasa plays including Abhijñānāsakuntala, Vikramorvasya and Malavikagnamitra. The Kannada films Mahakavi Kalidasa featuring Hanapa Bhagavatar, B. Sarojadevi and later Kavaratna Kalidasa featuring Rajkumar and Jayaprada, were based on the life of Kalidasa. Kavaratna Kalidasa also used Kalidasa's Shakuntala as a sub-plot in the movie, V. Shantaram made the Hindi movie Stri 1961, based on Kalidasa's Shakuntala. R. R. Chandran made the Tamil movie Mahakavi Kalidas 1966, based on Kalidasa's life. Chevalier Nadagar Thilagam Savaji Gainasan played the part of the poet himself. Mahakavi Kalidasu Telugu, 1960, featuring Akaneni Nageshwara Rao was similarly based on Kalidasa's life and work. Surendra Verma's Hindi play Athavan Sarga, published in 1976, is based on the legend that Kalidasa could not complete his epic Kumarasambhava because he was cursed by the goddess Parvati, for obscene descriptions of her conjugal life with Lord Shiva in the eighth canto. The play depicts Kalidasa as a court poet of Chandragupta who faces a trial on the insistence of a priest and some other moralists of his time. Asti Kashchid Vagarthiyam is a five-act Sanskrit play written by Krishna Kumar in 1984. The story is a variation of the popular legend that Kalidasa was mentally challenged at one time and that his wife was responsible for his transformation. Kalidasa, a mentally challenged shepherd, is married to Vidyatama, a learned princess, through a conspiracy. On discovering that she has been tricked, Vidyatama banishes Kalidasa, asking him to acquire scholarship and fame if he desires to continue their relationship. She further stipulates that on his return he will have to answer the question, Asti Kashchid Vagartha. 
Is there anything special in expression? To her satisfaction. In due course, Kalidasa attains knowledge and fame as a poet. Kalidasa begins Kumarsambhava, Raghuvamsa, and Megaduta with the words Asti, there is, Kashchit, something, and Vagartha, spoken word and its meaning. Bishnupada Bhattacharya's Kalidas o Rabindranath is a comparative study of Kalidasa and the Bengali poet Rabindranath Tagore. Ashad Ka Ek Din is a play based on fictionalized elements of Kalidasa life. Influences Kalidasa has had great influence on several Sanskrit works, on all Indian literature. He also had a great impact on Rabindranath Tagore. The Megadudam's romanticism is found in Tagore's poems on the monsoons. Sanskrit plays by Kalidasa influenced late 18th and early 19th century European literature. According to Dale Carnegie, father of modern medicine Sir William Osler always kept on his desk a poem written by Kalidasa. <laughs> <laughs> Further reading Miller, Barbara Stoller, ed. Theatre of Memory, The Plays of Kalidasa. N.Y., Columbia University Press, 1984. K.D. Sethna. Problems of Ancient India, p. 79-120 Chapter. The Time of Kalidasa. 2000 New Delhi, Aditya Prakashan. ISBN 81-7742-026-7 About the Dating of Kalidasa V. Venkatachalam. Fresh Light on Kalidasa's Historical Perspective, Kalidasa Special Number X, The Vikram, 1967, pp. 130-140. See also Sanskrit literature Sanskrit drama Basa